The Doug Wright Show, where Utah news breaks on KSL News Radio, 102.7 FM and 1160 AM. It's very important that wherever you are going, whatever you are doing, that you get there safely and that we can anticipate what the weather's going to be. And I really appreciate from the National Weather Service, Monica Traphagen joining us on the line right now. And Monica, thank you so much for joining us on the program. How do things look for the holiday weekend and also for travel over the next several days? Uh, For travel over the weekend, unfortunately, it's not looking good. Uh, We've got a major winter storm that's coming in. We're expecting snow to begin over the mountains tonight um, and beginning in the valley Saturday morning. And this is going to significantly impact travel Christmas Eve and the Christmas Day. Um, So if you can move your, if you're planning on traveling, particularly Christmas Eve in the afternoon, evening, or or Christmas Day morning, if you can move that to today, uh, we highly recommend that. Um, We, we, don't want people traveling over the weekend. We're looking at a, a storm that's going to bring significant snow to the entire state, um, with perhaps the exception of the St. George area. But if you're traveling along that I-15 corridor, um, we're expecting treacherous travel Christmas Eve to Christmas Day. Um, looking at one to three feet for the mountains, and even down in the valleys, 48 inches with more for the benches. Um, and and this snow being being that's cold and accumulate on the roads. And um, and make travel very difficult um, during a time where a lot of people want to travel. So if you can change your plans, we highly recommend you do so. Well, on one hand, we have a white Christmas. On the other hand, it could be real tough sledding, especially for people that were traveling or planning on travel on, on Christmas Eve. You mentioned one to three feet for the mountains. Is that correct? That's correct. Where are we expecting the heaviest dump of the snow will be? Any idea of where the epicenter might be? Um, you know, we're expecting this is a large storm that's going to going to bring significant snow to all the mountains. I would say it's most likely, you know, the, the mountains of northern Utah, the Wasatch, the Cottonwoods area, will probably see the most. Um, but we're going to see significant snow across all the mountains of Utah. Wow, and even on the valley floor is four to eight inches? That's correct. Wow. <laughs> Sometimes it's amazing how much snow we get out to the west in Tooele and along the I-80 uh, corridor. Or what, what are you anticipating there, Monica? Uh, we're, we're looking for, for similar amounts, uh, you know, for, for the Tooele area in, in that 48-inch range. Um, you know, sometimes they, they do better um, than we do in Salt Lake because of, uh, you know, lake-enhanced snow. Um, you know, they get a lake band that forms. But, but in this case, we're just going to have snow everywhere. So it looks like, it, you know, everyone's going to do well. It is so deceptive because right now in downtown Salt Lake City, I'm looking out, I'm seeing shadows all over the place. I'm seeing, you know, blue sky and uh, just even some sunshine. Temperature is a little low. We're just a degree or so below freezing. So this uh, this is going to change. <laughs> when about? When do you think that we'll actually start seeing the precipitation along that I-15 corridor? Uh, looks like looks like Saturday morning or tomorrow morning. Okay, Saturday morning. All right, it's interesting in our family. Uh, we've got uh, my son and my daughter-in-law who are planning on traveling up to Logan. I'm going to have to encourage them to maybe leave a little early. I hate to do that, but uh, I want I want them to get there safely. Right. If they're able to adjust their plans, that would be ideal because um, otherwise it will be slow going at best. Now, is this going to spill into other states, or is it pretty much isolated over Utah? Oh, no, this this is a large storm. It's it's going to going to impact it, you know, you know, California, Nevada, you know, the, the entire area. And, and then as we get into Christmas Day and it starts shifting east of us, then it's going to move into the, the, the middle part of the state. There's mm-hmm. going to be a lot of impact to travel from this storm and then, and then another storm over the east. It's, it's, it's going to be messy for a lot of locations across the entire United States. When do you anticipate that it will taper off and things will get back uh, at least uh, to a degree of norm- normalcy? Um, it looks like for, for the valley locations of Utah, uh, we're looking at um, you know snow continuing into Christmas morning and tapering off um, the afternoon, but with, with snow lingering into the mountains as late as Monday. I really appreciate this update. Thank you so much from the National Weather Service, uh, Monica Traphagen with us. Monica, I hope you have a very, very Merry Christmas, a great holiday season. You as well. Merry Christmas. And thank you for that uh, update. And we, of course, here at KSL News Radio. Not only today, but throughout the holiday weekend, we will be bringing you right up to date on what is uh, unfolding. But uh, the bottom line, and I've heard it this morning, too, with our morning team and also with uh, Dan Guthrie, uh, Guthrie, that uh, if you at all possibly can, it would be wise if you're anticipating traveling tomorrow. If you can move those plans to later today, 
that would be wise. So travel today if you can. A large storm, as you heard, one to three feet in the mountains, four to eight inches in the valleys, and things will start late tonight, early tomorrow morning on Christmas Eve.